Hi, welcome to another episode of Vivid Aquariums TV. I'm Dave, and tonight I'm going to show you how to make a Durso standpipe, which is essentially a muffler for the drain of your aquarium. It's going to keep your tank quieter and make the whole experience a little more peaceful. And so. what this does is basically the water level in your overflow will be here, so now you're drawing water from underneath the water line, and that's going to keep things a lot quieter. You have a vent hole in the top of it to allow the air to escape. You can play with the size of that hole to adjust the sound. And since none of these parts are glued, you can take them apart to basically make adjustments as needed. So we'll start with a male adapter. This will end up being the part that screws into your bulkhead. The bulkhead, again, will connect to the drain on the bottom of your tank and eventually into your sump. From the male adapter, we need to take PVC. We're going to take the PVC and cut it with our cutters. This is our Victor. Uh, PVC cutters. They work really well, especially when the blades are newer. Whoa! So, got the pipe. To glue that in, whenever you glue PVC, you just want to basically put a coating of glue on the inside of the fitting, and then a coating of glue on the outside of the pipe, you're going to glue in. You push those two together, nice and solid. Make sure it goes in all the way. And have a paper towel handy to wipe that fitting dry. Now, you also want to measure the height of the overflow, what you're going to need. So you don't want to see the Darso pipe through the aquarium. I do glue this fitting. I'll put Teflon tape on the threads before we screw that into the bulkhead so that's all watertight. But the top fitting you don't want to glue because you need to be able to remove this T in order to take it off to clean the drain. You'll use a street elbow that inserts directly into that T, so it keeps it nice and small, helps it fit in your overflow better. And then we need to put a hole in the PVC cap to allow the air gap. For that, just use some pliers to hold the cap, get your hands away from it, take a drill, right in the center. Start with a small hole, maybe about 3 eighths of an inch on a 2 inch drain. You can always make the hole larger to adjust. And there you go. Now we need to cut a short piece of pipe to be able to put this cap on top. Just stick that piece of pipe into the top, your cap on top, you're good to go. That's the Durso standpipe. That'll screw right into the bulkhead inside your overflow. I hope this is helpful. Hope it gives you a better night's sleep, guys. Thanks.